What is up my friends? My name is Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. And look at this! Got the freaking XP machine out. Got it all polished off. Working great, uh, finally. Uh, it makes me happy to actually kind of go over some old hardware like this and start doing some benchmarking. I have a whack old cards. We're going to do uh, this 280 from NVIDIA next. But today on the docket, we're talking about the world's fastest consumer GPU as dictated by the box uh, in 2006. And it only held the crown for like six months before nvidia uh turned around and kicked their butt but this is an ati graphics card it's the x1900 xtx the fastest uh version of this card at the time pretty cool stuff and uh canadian company that uh, you know got bought up by amd i'm sure you you know you realize but look at like this this is a freaking awesome looking card it's just super cool and this is uh right around the time they stopped using like molex for the extra uh power to the the gpu they got this it has that stupid blower design they're still using today and it's just as ineffective and this thing is still it's a freaking space heater so nothing has changed when it comes to graphics cards so uh, i got a whole slew of things going on so cue an intro we're gonna talk all about the radeon xtx x1900 xdx right after this whoa all right so this card would be pretty useless for budget build or anything like that i mean it's 11 years old at this point and it does not support uh, in modern APIs like DirectX 11 or 12 or Vulkan, uh, it, but it's kind of limited to what it can do. I can even tell you it, it doesn't even play Counter-Strike Source, unfortunately, or CSGO. Uh, it, it'll play Counter-Strike 1.6, uh, and it'll play the Half-Life 2 engine, but I think things have just gotten too far. At least on XP, this card would not work to play CSGO, which was kind of sad. Um, it would load, but it just never would get to the map. Uh, but I do have a slew of other benchmarks that would be timely for this era from between like uh, 2006 to 2010 that I put the, this through. But I just wanted to kind of give you my experience. So first off, out of all the cards I got, uh, I got this big group of cards uh, on like a Craigslist deal uh, for 50 bucks not only including like six or seven graphics cards but like four motherboards a whack of old amd processors a whack of ram all this old hardware that's like a deal i could not say no to and I, i've just kind of been sitting on it and i thought i should get to this because i want to kind of get this out of my hair um I, they're all in boxes most of the hardware is in pretty good condition so i want to clean it up get it out of my hair maybe pass it along to somebody else who might enjoy this kind of stuff uh but it does definitely require some cleaning along the way the gentleman that used to have all this hardware uh had them running uh quite hard in some uh dusty environments and all these cards were fairly dirty so i blew this card out uh back uh i actually gave it a try like uh on this system before i had it working properly and uh i realized it was really dirty so i blew it out but it needed the thermal uh, grease uh, replaced and the heat sink properly cleaned and, you know, the, the fan lubed up and stuff like that. And it's still very, very, very warm. And it, it didn't overheat except for in Half-Life 2, it would, uh, on certain settings, eventually cause the, the card to overheat. But it was just in Half-Life 2 at 1080p which is weird. I, there's like, I don't know if there's some setting that I had turned on that was making this thing work too hard. I also tried overclocking with it. Um, you can use a, a couple of different uh, tools from back in the day, ATI tray tools, or even the Catalyst software works to do this. Uh, but one thing I, I noticed is I could never find a control to turn the fan speed up on this. 
uh, manually. And I found it took way too long to ramp itself up and it never, like it blows like crazy when you turn the computer on, it sounds like a blow dryer. It, like it never ended up doing that itself. So I wish I could find some way to manually control the fan on this because I'd rather hear it uh, really, you know, kind of be loud and put it down on the floor and, you know, put some headphones on and have it be running way cooler than uh, have it just kind of really warm and not blowing enough air. But uh, that's a weird thing of the times. Uh, you know, MSI Afterburner would not work with this. I was using some other party tools. And, and, and when I tried overclocking it, it didn't seem like this thing wanted it's overclock and I, I, I read some websites that they just eventually stopped me you know having that ability but the the card worked it worked for all my testing it worked for everything that i threw at it it was a pretty cool card uh, I, re I did things like mirror's edge uh, half-life 2 of course crisis of doom 3 some pretty cool benchmarks as well as uh, i downloaded um uh 3d mark 2006 so that's pretty cool so we'll get to the benchmarks in just a second but overall i gotta say i can tell this was a very very fast card for the time because it's doing some things that are kind of uh, unexpected and you know kind of uh, i was, was making it do everything in 720p back then that just wasn't a thing most computer monitors did like uh 12 68 by 10 24 or like high resolution was uh you know a not, you know a third of what it is now and it was you know in a uh, a four by three aspect ratio not 16 by nine so you're pushing a lot more pixels with a monitor like this and it seemed to like to just sit at 720p in most titles i threw at it and it had no problem with it even like fallout uh three it was doing a decent job at playing uh some of these games uh but you know it's one of those things where if you want to use this in an xp box and in like an older system for like uh you know a retro this is becoming a thing now windows xp is retro uh, you know, this will be a very, very good card for that, but you're, it's still, you know, you can't expect too, too much of it, uh, you know, compared to modern standards, because back then 30 frames a second was the mainstay and everyone wants 60 these days. A lot of games were frame capped. I found at 60 frames a second, even if I didn't have uh, vertical sync on. So let's get to the benchmarks and we'll go through all of that stuff. I recorded the gameplay through my Elgato with uh, for everything with this. And then when we come back, we'll do a final summation on the Radeon X1900 XTX 2006, uh, early 2006, uh, greatest GPU. Throw it to you.
Shut up, you guys. Hi there. Okay, we're back. Weird. Yes. Uh, did fairly well. 720p. Um, I wasn't expecting it to... Uh, well, I guess, you know, it is a very high-end card for the time. Uh, this would have been, uh, just for inflation, like six or $700. And then the price on it lowered fairly quickly. It uh, was a kind of unanimous decision that this was faster than the NVIDIA GPU at the time, the 7900. Uh, but then in uh, late 2006, around November, NVIDIA launched the uh, 8800 GTS, which was uh, one of the, like, it was like kind of a turning point in uh, the way GPUs worked and the way memory worked and stuff like that. And it blew the pants off this thing. So this thing only really had the crown for about six to six, eight months in uh 2000 well it was january launch so yeah for, for you know most of the year of 2006 but nvidia came in much as nvidia does and stole the crown from this thing and it took a while for uh ati to get uh, itself back uh in that ring and in the process uh, amd popped them out but i have some uh actually newer gpus in this from ati and a, a lot older ones and we're going to uh delve back into maybe some agp stuff eventually but I think we'll do uh, this one next because this is a freaking beast of a card. It's too bad that it doesn't do DirectX uh, 11. If it did, I think it would be a fun you know, prospect to put this in a, a machine and see if it could run some modern titles because it looks, it is just straight up, except for that you know, terrible graphic on it, it is just straight up uh, a modern card. It even has uh, a six and an eight pin connector. But, uh, you know, that's for another time. What, what do I think of this thing? Well, it's a beast of a card at 720p. Uh, I'd say it, it's, it's like in true Radeon fashion. It is a hot as balls card. It uh, would frequently get up into 90 degrees. I think that has something to do with its age. It might have been a little bit better back then. But, uh, I mean, look at the cooler on it. It's inadequate. It's a weird design. Just put some heat sinks and fans on them, for God's sakes. They're still doing that these days. Like, learn, not learning from mistakes they made to 11 years ago. But, what am I to say? There are other versions of this car, too, that probably would have different heat sinks and what have you. But awesome card for the time i gotta say so i'm at watch timmy on instagram and twitter i have uh some huge thank yous to give to uh my supporters on my gofundme uh we've almost hit our goal we're at twelve hundred and twenty nine dollars uh, of my fifteen hundred dollar goal i and at this rate we're gonna hit the goal by the end of october and that really helps me out uh keep the channel going uh, I have uh, some job prospects coming up that might hinder my time for a bit on the channel, but I'm, I love doing this, and you guys are the reason why some really cool people on the Discord channel over there, we, you know, I, I set up a Discord, and some people thought I had the Discord for, like, months because of how many people are already in there. I got, like, 30 uh, patrons. So if you, if you uh, talk on Discord, go check us out. There's a link below. You can go talk to on our Discord. And if you donate, let us know. If you're one of the donators in the Discord, we'll give you some uh, extra privileges and stuff like that. But I want to thank uh, Potato with a Laser. And Bang Bang for helping set the Discord up because I was a complete noob about Discord and how to do the bots and what have you. And they helped me all set up. As well as I want to thank everyone in that Discord who's just been having a nice conversation about hardware. That is just some super fun. And of course, I have to thank all of these people that have donated to the GoFundMe. Like, uh, I know I'm giving away some hardware and stuff, but the expectation here is just like that, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're donating it to have some fun on the internet and make some videos and, uh, you know, help fund this channel. And so many people are sending so much love and so much support. It just... I can't thank y'all enough, and I'll come up with a way uh, so that everyone feels welcome. We're going to maybe do a, a little, you know, Patreon and do, do some rewards and stuff like that, as well as we will announce the prizes for this when we hit the goal. So help me hit the goal if you haven't donated yet and, you know, you like my content. Even uh, 5 bucks, 20 bucks, uh, or 25 bucks is where you should start because that's, that could win you a 16 gig kick of RAM. But if you want to know all the contest details, head over to the GoFundMe link in the description. And uh, there is a chance for you to win uh, one of three sets of RAM as well as some Timmy Joe t-shirts. And just have a lot of fun while we're doing it. But I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. Check out the GoFundMe. Check out the Discord. And uh, stay tuned for a lot more stuff like this. 
because I had a blast doing it. And uh, you know what? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and build up some budget stuff that works for today. I want to like find a computer for like 50 bucks that will play some modern titles. That's, that's what I'm working on right now. But as for this old stuff, I mean, it, it's super interesting to go back in time, use a time machine, check out all this stuff. I, I back in the day never had the money for stuff like this. I was always rocking some mid-level GPU that just barely, you know, played Counter-Strike or Half-Life or, you know, Halo or whatever at the time. So that's, that's super fun to go back in time and play with this stuff now because uh, it makes me feel like, you know, a, a, a little piece of my history, you know? So I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, stay, stay fun out there. Timmy Joe loves you.